so my talk is on uh, synths and sound design in Godot uh, with CSAM. And my name is uh, Werner Mendizabal, and I go online by no name and turn name. Okay, so uh, background about me. Uh, I've been into game development for a while. I mean, since I was a little kid, I wanted to make video games. Uh, I've been a hobbyist, a game developer, and I'm really passionate about uh, open source software. So uh, before Godot, I was using uh, SDL, uh, Ehrlich, uh, Ogre, like going through different projects. And then uh, once I found out about Godot, I found a home. Uh, in my professional work, uh, I do software development and I work on uh, microservices. Uh, Okay, so what is C-Sound? Uh, so C-Sound is a sound and music uh, processing language. Uh, it's open source. Uh, it allows you doing uh, synthesizer, signal processing. Uh, it was developed by uh, many uh, researchers, uh, developers, and also by composers over uh, a while. Uh, the inspiration for my work came from uh, C-Sound Unity. It's a uh, a library that wraps uh, C sound and makes it available in Unity, and also a uh, cabbage, which is what, how I started uh, writing synthesizers. Uh, I found the tool to be very useful, and I was able to do uh, VSTs and then use them in, a, in the DAW. And I want to thank uh, Rory Welsh. Uh, you know, he was a big inspiration for my project. And I also want to thank the C sound developers. Uh, the tool they made, I feel, is very great and I've been able to do a lot with it. Okay, so uh, why go to C sound? Uh, initially, when I started working uh, on a video game, I have an idea for, I started uh, with fluid synth, uh, basically using sound fonts to generate music, but I found that it wasn't enough for what I wanted to do, and then I started looking at how to do uh, more complex things, and I found uh, C sound, and I started uh, kind of experimenting with it, and I found that I could do a lot of things. And it's uh, extendable, so you can write your own opcodes, so you can uh, make your own like oscillators in the language. And since I'm a big fan of open source software, uh, tools like Unity, Fmod, and WYs aren't really an option for me. I like to make my games open source and put them on the web so they're available, uh, and they stand the test of time. So I try not to use the uh, commercial products. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, what led me to create Godot C Sound. And uh, basically, it integrates C Sound into the Godot engine. OK, so how it works. Uh, most of the work I did was uh, getting C Sound compiled uh, into all the platforms that Godot supports. Uh, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, and WebAssembly. Uh, I contributed uh, some PRs to CSound uh, to be able to cross-compile some of the things and have it uh, integrate in a similar manner to how Godot uh, does its builds. Uh, I exposed uh, the CSound functionality, uh, not everything so far, but the things that I needed. Uh, you know, if anyone needs anything added, you know, you can do it. Uh, an issue on GitHub, or and I can uh, get it into the project. So it's a uh, GD extension, and uh, I modeled it after uh, the audio server. So there's a C sound server that creates uh, Godot uh, C sound objects. Uh, I kind of want to rename it to C sound instances. So I don't know if I'll do that. I don't want to break people if they already are using the project. And um, and it works similar to the audio bus. And I also have audio streams which generate uh, the processing for CSound. Uh, the core features uh, real time audio synthesis. Uh, you can generate uh, sound dynamically at runtime. Uh, the engine for CSound is very powerful, it has a lot of different uh, operation codes. So you can do uh, pretty much anything with the language. Uh, for uh, uh, interacting with CSound, uh, there's some methods that I expose. You can do note on, note off, uh, do a control channel, uh, and you can also send event strings. And then there's additional methods also available. 
And uh, you can define your instrument in a CSD file, which is the extension for C sound. And in there, uh, you define your own instrument. And it's, uh, it, it's basically its own programming language. Uh, it's uh, modular. Uh, you can have multiple uh, instances of C sound uh, in the engine. Uh, the integration with audio is seamless, so if you're generating audio, you can pass that into a buzz and then add effects to it. And there's also an effect that you can use to send the output that's being generated by Godot into C sound. Uh, it's cross platform. Uh, so far, uh, I support the existing platforms. And it's also uh, open source and extendable. So uh, this is an example of a simple synthesizer in C sound. Uh, you have this uh, HTML looking format. You have uh, the C sound options. And then you have a section where you define your C sound instruments. Uh, here I have an instrument uh, named one. Uh, it takes in a few parameters in C sound. The parameters are P. Uh, one through n, depending on how many parameters you have. Uh, here I'm passing in the amplitude and the frequency, and then I'm using uh, the VCO upcode to generate a SOT2 wave. And then I'm outputting that into uh, the output channels. And then in the score section, uh, I'm calling uh, that instrument with certain parameters to generate the sounds at specific times for a certain length, uh, frequency, and amplitude. And the way that you would use this in GDScript, uh, the way that it works is when you first load it, uh, based on the layout, it'll load uh, different C sound instances. Uh, there's a signal, so once it's done loading all the C sounds, then you can get a reference to the different C sound instances. They each have a name that you can specify that should be unique. You're, you're not able to have two that have the same name. And you can also get a, a signal for when that C sound instance is ready. And then once that C sound is ready, then you can start doing processing. And here, there's an example of playing some note on and off uh, for that specific C sound instance. OK, uh, demo time. <laughs> One second. <laughs> okay, so this is a synthesizer that I kind of copied from my main synth, AM synth. Uh, I rewrote everything in C sound, and then I used Godot to uh, generate the UI. And uh, it's basically a synthesizer. So you can play music, and then you can change the parameters. And it has uh, different presets, so you can change the way that it sounds. And you can also uh, save presets and load them. And uh, this project is open source. It's available on GitHub. So if you want to use it, you can just copy the files over to your game and start using it. Okay. And the future of Godot C sound. Uh, so, f for the work that's being done for Lib Godot, uh, something that I want to do is uh, use the distro plugin framework and embed Lib Godot inside of it uh, to allow uh, to create uh, audio plugins uh, using Godot. So similar to the synth that you saw uh, in the future, once this project is complete, you'll be able to do uh, a synthesizer and then load it into a digital audio workstation. And it should make it seamless uh, for musicians to do music composition and then import those uh, same synthesizers in game to uh, play music. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to Berkeley. <laughs>